a couple of years ago, I was asked to do a Bible study group. I'm thinking Catholics don't do Bible studies, you know. Mm. And to do a Bible study group in Houston. I'm going, Catholics definitely don't do Bible studies in Texas. Mm. To do a Bible study group in Houston with a bunch of astronauts. Astronauts, oh, I could do that, yeah. So I wound up at a, at a dinner evening of about 12 couples, all of them astronauts or, and spouses. One of the guys, half of them were Catholic, as it turns out, so so much for Catholics not doing Bible studies. One of the guys um, came up to me and said, you know, I just want to let you know, I believe in the absolute truth that creation was made in the six days just as described in the book of Genesis, and that's my religion. I just want to let you know that ahead of time. And I'm thinking, you know, have you actually read Genesis? where it says the world is flat and it's covered with a dome and there's water above and below the dome, you know. Where does the shuttle go? How come you don't get wet? <laughs> and I'm thinking, you know, have you actually read Genesis? Where it says the world is flat and it's covered with a dome and there's water above and below the dome, you know. Where does the shuttle go? How come you don't get wet? <laughs> and I'm thinking, you know, have you actually read Genesis? where it says the world is flat and it's covered with a dome and there's water above and below the dome, you know. Where does the shuttle go? How come you don't get wet? <laughs> so friends, you heard that for yourself, what that Jesuit astronomer said. It's like they know their Bible better than most Seventh-day Adventists. You see, what I've been sharing with you about Bible cosmology, it's nothing new. All the ancients understood this. Ancient Hebrewites, they understood these concepts of the universe, about the firmament, and above the firmament, there being waters, not empty space. But the Jesuits come along not too long ago and changed the order of things and brainwashed the whole world to see things how they want you to see things i.e. a ball and that we are floating in endless space and we've got the rockets to prove it there's no waters above the firmament and then what does that do it creates unbelief you saw them mocking laughing ha 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 what does that do it makes people believe that the bible is false that it's not true this is the reason why many young adventists end up leaving the faith, end up leaving Christianity. Because we have also succumbed to this teaching and are doubting what the word of God says. Just listen to what he said and the laughing after. And what does he use to validate his claim? NASA, the shuttles, the rockets. Friends, I don't think we realise what we're dealing with here. This is the greatest deception ever to hit mankind. And the goal is to make you distrust the word of God and to start spiritualizing your Bible. You see, friends, this is more than just, oh, the world is flat. The world is round, as many would like you to believe. This is an underground attack on the word of God. It's an attack on Christ. It's to make you disbelieve the word of God and faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God that produces righteousness and if you reject the word of God what he tells you no matter how small it may seem you're on dangerous ground just look at what happened with Eve how Satan caused her to doubt and look at the world today the suffering the evil just for that little doubt. And today we say, oh, it doesn't matter. You know, believe what you want to believe. It's insignificant. This is the reason why there are so many atheists today. It's because of this heliocentric doctrine. And if you can't see that, then great woe be upon you. Now listen to what he just said. And I'm thinking, you know, have you actually read Genesis? where it says the world is flat and it's covered with a dome and there's water above and below the dome, you know. Where does the shuttle go? How come you don't get wet? <laughs> oh, you heard that? Oh, where do the rockets go? Do they get wet? In other words, he is making a mockery of the word of God, of the Bible. And when I heard this, I felt so sad. 
not at the guy, but for God's professed people who now see things in the same light as this Jesuit. How their minds have become so dull of hearing, how they have lost faith in the simple thus say of the Lord. You see friends, this whole NASA astronomy thing is a mockery of God. God tells us clearly, and they know this, that there are waters above the firmament. But they say, we show that it can't be the case. Why? Because we have rockets that go up into space. And because God's people have been so brainwashed by what they see on the TV, they're in agreement with him. So they have to change the word of God. What do they say now? Oh no, these waters are no longer there. They disappeared during the flood. But does the Bible tell you this? No, it doesn't. Go to Psalms. It tells you those waters are there forever till the end of time. So who do we believe? Are we believing our own logic, Christian science? Or are we believing the word of God? The test is always the same for every generation, no different with Adam and Eve. Whose words are you following? Before Christ could heal anybody, the first thing he would say to his people, do you believe? Do you believe my word? And it's the same thing today. Who do you believe? It all boils down to whose word do you believe? Is it God or is it the Antichrist system? Because this doctrine came from the Antichrist. It came from Satan. But yet we are choosing their words over the words of God. It's shocking and it's scary for me to witness how our people are choosing to follow the antichrist philosophy of the world rather than what the word of God says because they don't want to be mocked or scoffed at. Friends, study NASA. It's a joke. It's all fake. We are told that Satan will do signs and wonders and this is a part of it. All these CGI, the rockets which curve, they go back to the sea. They can't leave Earth's orbit. They know this. Those images which they tell that they are in space floating around. It's fake. Research it. It's fake. It's all made in Hollywood's basement. The photos that you see of the earth. It's photoshopped. It's not real. And we need to educate our children to understand this and be aware of this. This is why there are so many Seventh-day Adventists, young kids. They go to school, they become teenagers and they leave the faith. And the parents are like, oh, I don't know what I did. I took him to an Adventist school. You know, he was raised Adventist. We went to church. Now he just doesn't want nothing to do with the Bible. He's just become an atheist. Why? It's because of what they are learning in the schools the sciences they can't reconcile this with the word of God they are being presented something different our schools are also teaching this heliocentric doctrine they become so confused so they reject the word of God and they go into the world this is why our church is dying and we need to understand this Martin Luther understood this that's why he wrote I am much afraid that the universities will prove to be the gates, the great gates of hell, unless they diligently labour in explaining the holy scriptures and engraving them in the hearts of youth. I advise no one to place his child where the scriptures do not reign paramount. Every institution in which men are not unceasingly occupied with the word of God must become corrupt and that's what we're seeing today we are not teaching our children true biblical creation as God told us in Genesis we are following the sciences of the world and anyone anyone with a brain when you study the sciences of the world you can't reconcile it back to the bible and not only that They are being brainwashed with all these images. Now they're saying they've landed to Mars. 
Many of our people believe this, not realizing that it's all fake. And we are promoting it and supporting it as well. And the youth see this, they leave the church because it doesn't reconcile with the word of God. We haven't taught the scriptures, true creation, as we should have done. And now we are paying the price. To close, Martin Luther states, We Christians must be different from the philosophers, i.e. scientists, in the way we think about the causes of these things. And if some are beyond our comprehension, like those before us concern the waters above the heaven, we must believe them and admit our lack of knowledge rather than wickedly deny them or presumptuously interpret them in conformity with our own understanding. And I completely agree with him. We are denying God when we reject what he has clearly told us in his word. And when you start to do this, you are on shaky ground. And when the test comes, you are guaranteed to fall. We are told every point of doctrine in the Bible, in the scriptures, are going to be brought to our attention and scrutinised. And if we can't stand on the thus say of the Lord, on true biblical creation, biblical cosmology, and we choose to follow the things of the world, then we are in serious trouble.